And now we look into question seven, ladies and gents. They say that we've got a mouse on the ground at point T, which is looking up to an owl in a tree at point U and a cat to his right on the ground at point V. Right, they say the angle of elevation from the mouse to the owl is 90 minus 2 theta and TU is equal to K units, uh, GV is 8 units and TGV is uh, 150 and TVG uh, theta. Right, now they say to us, now ladies and gents, I looked at this question and I was trying to solve it until I realized that in, in actual fact, I think they made a mistake here. Uh, they've written TUV, but in actual fact, I think they were trying to say TUG, right? And you'll see why in just a moment. So they say write down the size of TUG in terms of theta. Now, if you look at it, um, TUG is in this triangle over here, right? So it is this angle over there. Now you've got a 90 degree angle over there and you've got 90 minus 2 theta. And so that means this angle here can only be 2 theta if you take the sum of angles in a triangle, right? So that angle will actually equal to uh, uh, 2 theta. Uh, and they said write it down, which means you didn't necessarily need to calculate it. And that's the only angle, uh, well, uh, uh, other than... Uh, GTV, right, that you can actually get um, in this case using sum of angles on a triangle. Uh, otherwise, that would have really been a problem if you wanted to answer that question. Right, and so the next question says, show that TG is equal to K, the sine of 2 theta. Now we're looking at TG, which is a common side. Let me just use a different color. All right, so this is a common side between those two triangles. And remember, guys, every time you do 3D trig, that's always what you're going to do, right? So look for that common side, all right? Express it in terms of the triangle that has the most information. And definitely, TUG does have the most information. So let's quickly look at it. We've got the hypotenuse here, right? And we are looking for the adjacent, or rather, let me say, the opposite side to that angle, right? So we're going to say uh, the sine, right, of 2 theta. So let's do that. So sine of 2 theta. Okay, in fact, let's first make an announcement. In triangle, TUG, right, we know that the sine of... 2 theta, right, that's our angle, that's opposite, will be equal to Tg over the hypotenuse, which is Tu, right, but we want Tg in this case, so sine of 2 theta will be Tg divided by K, and if we cross multiply, uh, what we find is that Tg will be k multiplied by the sine of 2 theta. That's exactly what they asked us to find over there. Right, now for the next one, they say show that Tv okay, is equal to k, the cos of theta. So we're looking at Tv, which is this guy over here, right? So we already know Tg. We've got an angle that is opposite that. But we also have 150, which is an angle opposite that. So we're going to use our sine rule. So we're going to say in triangle, TGV, the sine of, okay, let's start by the sine of angle V divided by the side opposite that, okay, so... The side opposite is Tg will be equal to the sine of angle G, right, divided by Tv. Now, let's cross multiply, ladies and gents. So we've got Tv, the sine of angle V, but we know that angle V is theta. 
will be equal to, again, so TV sine of V will be equal to uh, TG, but we know TG is already given to us. We said this is going to be K, the sine of 2 theta, right? That's TG multiplied by sine of G. And remember that sine of G is actually the sine of 150 degrees. Right, now, ladies and gents, uh, let's divide both sides by 2 sine of theta. Okay, so let's say sine of theta. And, of course, divide what we do on the left, we do on the right. So let's deal with TV now. Okay, so that will be K. Now, that's the sine of a double angle. That becomes 2 sine of theta, cos of theta right the sine of 150 right so let's leave it as that so this is divided by the sine of theta now if i notice there those two cancel out okay and um now in fact they said to us we must prove it's k the cos of theta so remember this is going to be uh, 2k right so k and 2 times the cos of theta but now we can rewrite sine of 150 as the sine of 180 minus 30 degrees right okay so those cancelled out so that's divided by 1 and so, please note, ladies and gents, we've got 2k, the cos of theta. If I take the sine of 180 minus 30, uh, that's in the second quadrant, sine is positive there. That's the same as the sine of 30 degrees. But you and I both know that uh, sine of 30, okay, sorry, this is cos theta, 2k cos of theta, sine of 30 degrees is 1 over 2. And notice there, those two cancel out. So that means that TV will be K times the cos of theta, which is exactly what they wanted us to prove over there. And finally, they say show that the area of triangle TGV. So we're looking at the area of this triangle over here, right, will be given by that expression. All right, now let's find that area. So we know that the area formula, we always take two sides and an included angle. So I am actually going to take uh, those two sides and the angle in between, all right, which is uh, 150. So I'm going to say, right, this is going to be half of TG multiplied by GV, right? The sine of the included angle, which is angle G. All right, so now I'm going to say this is half of, uh, sorry, this is triangle TGV. So that's half of TG, right? So TG, remember, was given to us as k sine of 2 theta, all right? Okay, that's Tg. And Gv is 8, okay? Multiplied by the sine of G. And remember, we said that the sine of G, which is a sine, the sine of 150, okay? So that's half of k into um, the sine of 2 theta, right? And we've got 8, uh, the sine of um, 150. And remember, we said that this is equal to the sine of uh, 30, and that would give us simply 1 over 2, right? So this is 8 multiplied by 1 over 2. So, 
If you notice that, ladies and gents, I've got 8 times 1 over 2, okay, which is 4 times another 1 over 2, right, which will give me 2. So this will be 2k, the sine of 2 theta. I'm quite certain that you could have found it also in another way, okay. Uh, if you took two sides, you already know what TV is. Uh, you know what GV is, the included angle would be theta there, uh, you could get it in that way. So ladies and gents, that is how the cookie crumbles, right? We are going to move on to the next question.